of Navratri. Navratri is a very important period in the Indian calendar. Navratri, nine nights. These are the nine nights through which the jiva has to go. And undergoing this darkness, we then are able to have the Vijayadashmi, the success on the Dashmi. The nine nights represent the three gunas, the three days for Tamas, three days for Rajas, three days for Sattva. And then beyond the Sattva, beyond all of this is the Trigunati, beyond the three gunas, that is the Purusha. So, this is basically the same thing what is being spoken in yoga. The only form and it, words used are different. Instead of speaking about the travel of the individual consciousness which is spoken of in yoga and then it connects to the cosmic consciousness. Here the form is given as the three ra ratris of each, tamas, rajas, sattva, totaling to nine. And these nine nights are the nights where the individual has to be awake, has to be aware. Awake means opening the eyes, physical eyes, mental eyes, spiritual eyes. When we become aware, when that insight develops, when that change starts coming in, then is the time that Navratri is actually fructifying in our lives. And to do this, there are multiple forms of sadhana which have been prescribed. Some are simple, some are less simple, some are elaborate and complicated. We shall be doing a very simple sadhana, chanting of the Saundarya Lahari. This is a dedication to Devi. Ashwin Navratri is dedicated to Devi. The story does go that it is in this time that Devi had destroyed the demons and there was the Mahishasura Mardini and in the end was the victory over all the demonic forces. This is the time when that energy abounds the earth allowing us to kill that Mahishasura within us. Who is Mahishasura? Mahishasur is the buffalo demon and the buffalo is having a thick hide. She is having stubbornness. And if you look at that, in us, when we, when our egos start coming up, then we become very thick-skinned. Nothing enters our head. And this ego is the most difficult thing to penetrate. We all fail in that. To be able to perform this ego dectomy, just like you remove the appendix, and you call it appendectomy. Same way, removal of ego is egodectomy. And to be able to do this, these nine days are particularly important. 
this is the time when the energy of Devi in this form is very ill. And we need to tap in so that we can receive that energy and make a change. You have the entire ocean available. But all we need is one mug from the ocean because that's all we can handle. If there is more, we will not be able to handle. So we just have to dip in and take one mug. And once we take that, there is a change within us. And then slowly a progressive change starts taking place. Let this be our sankalpa as we begin our journey in these nine nights. Thus, we have begun our journey of evolution, evolution of the consciousness. And for the first three days, I would suggest that you be aware of the different thoughts, emotions, feelings, actions coming up within us. Every day as we sleep, spend five minutes observing ourselves. What is it that I did in the whole day? What were my thoughts? What were my actions? What were my motivations? Do not judge, but just become aware. Spend five minutes doing this. And that will provide a impetus for us to move in the direction we desire. This is a very opportune moment. Navaratri is that period in time when there is a transition taking place. And when there is a transition taking place, always there is a great quantum of energy which is let out in the same manner as when an electron shifts from one orbit into another, it releases energy. In the same manner, when there is a transition, then there is this cosmic energy which is released and we should tap into this so that that energy comes within us and makes a qualitative and quantitative change in our life. We should observe ourselves for these nine days and then on Vijaya Dashmi, again, we should take a sankalpa that what are the learnings I had on these nine days and how can I implement? What is it that I can implement till the next step? This is how maintaining our activities in the world, performing all the activities, fulfilling our desires, we can progress in life. That is what Navratri stands for and signifies for us in our lives. Hari Om Tatsat, Namo Narayan, Jai.